and welcome to We Dubai. Today, we're here in Portugal and after a long time of being in a pandemic, we decided to come here to Portugal for many reasons. One of them being the fact that it's a huge historical site. It provides us this variety of history, culture, and nature, which we absolutely love. Lisbon is the capital of Portugal and it's also the biggest city in Portugal. There's around half a million people living here and even with the pandemic, the city has so much livelihood. So one of the most amazing thing about Portugal are the tiles. In Boston, we have so many pajos and there's those tripping hazards versus here, those tiles are actually laid out perfectly over hundreds of years ago. Little story time, what happened was there, there used to be uh, rock mills up north in Portugal, and there was little rocks maybe this size falling down. And what people decided to do is they decided to shave it off in a perfect square and lay them next to each other to make this beautiful street. And this happened in about 10th or 11th century, and it's been like this for a thousand years. And these pavements are what makes these streets a UNESCO site. Lisbon is the second oldest capital in Europe, right after Athens. You can tell that this style was copied by many other capitals that were founded later on in Europe. Another cool part about Lisbon is that it has a lot of many influences from so many places. There's Muslim influences from the 10th century because it's so close to Africa. Then we have the Romanian influences from the Roman Empire and the Germanian influences from Germany, as well as the moon influences, which is why the architecture is so rich here. It has one of the biggest ports and that's actually how it became such a huge power in Europe. Let's check it out. This arch is the Arco da Rua Augusta and it was created to celebrate the fact that after the earthquake in 1755, the whole city was reconstructed. So this was finished in 1873 and even since it just shows the resilience of Portuguese people, how fast they rebuild and bounce back. And it's just one of those entry ways that welcomes you to the city. Adam, Adam, no, no, stop filming. Did we go to the wrong place? Oh, we somehow ended up in San Francisco. What is this? So this bridge looks like Golden Gate in San Francisco, but it's not because we're still in Portugal. What I really love much better about this bridge and the one in San Francisco is that the water is so much bluer, the people are just so much vibrant, and then there's this vibe of history. We are literally on the city from the 10th century. <sighs> I just love the beaches here in Lisbon. Not only you can enjoy the wind coming from the river, you can see the sanctuary of the Christ King, the bridge. Guys, guys, this is crazy. We found a prototype of the jewel right there. This was back then when they had tobacco and instead of charging it, they actually used light. Isn't that amazing that this beautiful culture that we have in America started in the 10th century right here in Lisbon, Portugal. Guess who got the world's largest contract for sports in general? Cristiano Ronaldo. He was born in Portugal on the island called Modra. And soccer is one of the most important sports in Europe. The same way in America you guys teach the little boys how to play football, that is what we do in Europe. Everybody's crazy about soccer. We have championships every four years, and especially people in Portugal, they're so proud of their team, and it's one of the best teams in Europe. One of the best things that was ever born on the streets of Lisbon is Fado. Fado is a type of music, so it usually encompasses a guitar or like some five-string instrument and lyrics. You can think about things and drink wine with your friends and enjoy. What is more Portuguese than joy and drinking wine? Thank you for watching this week's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And check out our new video and make sure to leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye.